FBI Director Christopher Wray has now left the hot seat on Capitol Hill, taking hours and hours of questions from the House Judiciary Committee about what happened July 13th and why. Take a look at what happened. When the shot started flying and former President Trump grabbed his right ear, it was Mr. Trump himself who stated a short time later that he had been hit by a bullet. This afternoon here on Capitol Hill, FBI Director Christopher Wray said authorities haven't determined what struck ex-President Trump. There's, it, there's some question about whether or not uh, it's a bullet or shrapnel that, you know, that hit his ear. So it's, it's conceivable, although as I sit here right now, I don't know whether that bullet in addition to, you know, causing the grazing, could have also landed somewhere else. The suspect is directly above us. This new video from a police helmet camera obtained tonight by ABC News gives a close-up view of what SWAT officers found on the rooftop where shooter Thomas Crooks managed to squeeze off at least eight rounds from an assault-style rifle, seen here next to the gunman who had been cut down by a Secret Service sniper. Two, two, three, four, five. According to FBI Director Ray, investigators unraveling encrypted messages and files on the shooter's phone and computer have still not found a motive. But they did dig up a telling point of history from this previous presidential assassination. November 22nd, 1963, Dallas, Texas. From a perch on the sixth floor of a downtown building, Lee Harvey Oswald killed President John F. Kennedy using a Chicago-bought rifle. Fast forward 60 years, and a week before the Trump attacker opened fire here in Pennsylvania, authorities say he researched one element of the JFK killing. On July 6th, he did a Google search for, quote, how far away was Oswald from Kennedy? And so that's a search that obviously is significant in terms of his state of mind. Investigators tonight say they have also found pictures and information of other public officials on the shooter's phone. Not a hit list, they say, but disturbing nonetheless.